Hello everyone. In this chapter, support and movement in living organisms. Inshallah, we'll talk about support and movement in the plant. But first, if you leave fresh seeds such as peas or beans for a time, you will not that seeds become wrinkled and wilt. It was big, turgid, but suddenly became wrinkled and wilt. Why? Why this dead? Okay, that is about our lesson right now. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to recognize the concept of support and movement in plants, explain the reason of twinning turtles around the support, differentiate between pulling movement by turtles and pulling roots of carms and bulbs. So, let's get started. Support in plants. Firstly, the plant possesses different methods and systems for support, so as to maintain its shape and for protection. These methods may be physiological, concerning the soil as a whole, or maybe structural, the, the, the possession of hard substance soil on the wall. Here we are. The physiological support due to the presence of water in the cell vacuoles. But how? Okay. Structural support due to the presence of the position of some materials on the cell wall. But how to? Okay, let's explain first the physiological support. If the plant have a physiological support, sure it has a big size, big pressure, and surely affecting the shape of the cell wall to become turgid. To become turgid when? When water passes to vacuoles, and water can pass to vacuoles by smoothest process, and this process to P. Passes water to vacuoles, then pressure increase, then the size increase, then surely affecting the shape of the cell wall to become target. That's all about the physiological support. But we need examples. Sure, we need examples. Here we are. The trajectory of the guard cells. We had studied the guard cells before in the second secondary. In the tragedy of it, it's caused off the physiological support. And here are the simplest example, the wilting of leaves stems of Harpicus plants that freeze drought, and the wilting plants will attain its turgidity by soil irrigation. Is the simplest one. But the most important one is if you soak dried fruit in water. If you soak dried fruit in water, it surely became size, it became a big size. But why? Why? It's because of its pores absorbs water. If it absorbs water, being larger than size and swells due to the trajectory of its cells. But if you leave fresh seeds such as peas or beans for a time without any any water, the seeds become wrinkled and dwelt. Why? Due to loss of water from their cells. And the loss of water from their cells mean that loss of water from its vacuoles. And this is the answer of our question in the first of the video. That's all about the physiological support. What about the structure one? Structural support has two main jobs. That to protect the inner plant tissue and to prevent the water evaporation. And how they do it? By the position of substance on the cell wall. It's maybe hard substance? No, it's always hard substance or hard materials. Like immermeable. We have two types of immermeable. Immermeable cutin and immermeable supreme. The immermeable cutin we can find in the external cell wall, which call epidermis. epidermis. And the immermeable supreme we can find in the crock layer in the plant. Okay, that's all about the immermeable. What about the cellulose? We can find the cellulose only, or we can find it with lignin. The cellulose only we can find it in the colony chemo cell. But the cellulose with lignin together, we can find them in scalloring chemo cell. And we have two types of scalloring chemo cell or two examples of it. That's fiber or stone. What about the stone? Why it has this name? It has this name surely because of the large amount of lignin, which is called stone. That's all about the structure support. And this example is so important to keep it. So, so important. Okay, what about when I say, give a reason, it's considered at a permanent one. You should say, cause of possession of hard substance in the cell wall. 
Here we are guys, finished the support part. What about the movement part? Surely the movement and plant have types of movement. The first type was the touch movement. From its name, touch. So you touch the leaves of plant and they affect it. Like in mimosa plant, we had studied before. In the mimosa plant, when the leaf seeds touch it of it, or collapse in successive order, followed by putile. It's the most simplest movement. Just touch the leaves and they affect it. What about the sleep movement? I think it's related somewhat to the touch one, but from its name sleep. So there is a sleeping in the topic. It's similar to a walking and sleeping occurs, like partially close during darkness and return back to the, their original position in the light. But focus is partially, partially closed, not totally, partially focus. And we can find the sleep movement in the leaves of mimosa plants and some ligaments. So here we are, the touch movement in the sleep movement. It's so easy. Who's next? Yeah, troops movement. The troops movement is so important. Why? Because it's responsible for different parts of plant. But why too? By three elements. The first, light, humidity, and gravity. These three elements. You should keep it so important in that choose the correct answer question. But what is the mechanism of the troops movement? The mechanism is two oxygens. The oxygens make difference in growth rates. So, it's more the effects of oxygen. What about the types of tropes? We had phototropes, hydrotropes, tropes, J tropes. These three types. It's so easy, like the touch and sleeping movement. But the most important thing, what? The pulling, pulling movement. One special type of movement is pulling movement which is seen in trundles of pea and also in roots of corns and pulps. But the pulling movement in trundles and pea has its warm mechanism, but the, in the crumbs and pulps have another mechanism. So now focus with me about the mechanism of trundles and pea. The trundles raise itself into the air and it's likely to make contact with the solid object like this. It immediately twins closely around the object for a few turns in a spider form, in this spider form like this. And it slots to create it and so the plant's stem approaches, the support is grows vertically like this. So the trudelus becomes second and lies down. But what will happen if turtle does not meet a support during its twinning movement? Sure, sure, it wells and dies. If he doesn't meet a support like this, it surely wells and dies. There was the mechanism of Tradon's MP. Fox enough, you should be cave it. It's so important. But what about the bowling movement in the corms and bulbs? Here we are. The mechanism is the corms and pulps have pulling roots through them, like this. In contraction of these roots, the comb and pulps is pulled downwards to a suitable level in the soil. But what about subtranin? Subtranin's turning stream remains at a suitable distance from the soil source by the help of these pulling roots, which support the aerial part, these aerial parts, against wind effects. That's all about its mechanism. It's so easy, but it's so important. You should keep it too. Who's next? Yeah, cytoplasmic stream. What about cytoplasm? Let's remember that. The cytoplasm in plant transport food to all parts of plant. We studied that. And in the man, the blood transport oxygen and closes or fluid, glucose or food to all parts of the body. So we can't stop this movement. We can't stop this movement anyways. But when the main characters of the living cytoplasm is continuous rotation, continuous motion, continuous movement, it's so important, guys, inside the cell. 
so this is showing when examining a little leaf like like this okay focus with me now we can see the cytoplasm forming the cytoplasm forming in a cell layer lining the cell wall internally and streaming in a rotational movement in one direction like this this movement is indicated by the movement of chloroplasts emitted in the cytoplasm. These green bodies in the cytoplasm called chloroplasts. The movement is indicated by it. That's all about the cytoplasmic streaming that we finished. But the conclusion of our lesson today, we have talked about types of support in the plant, the physiological one and the structural one, and types of movement of the plant, the touch movement, sleeping movement, we have talked about tropism, we have talked about the cytoplasmic stream. That's all. But now we can we can test ourselves but some sample questions. Okay? The first one, both true or false. The cytoplasmic stream is a positional movement. Focus. Yeah, it's wrong. Because the cytoplasmic streaming is a continuous motion, not a positional movement. So, it's wrong. The second one, the position of substance on the cell wall to protect the inner plant tissue. Focus. Yeah, you're right. Excellent. It's a correct phrase. Because it's really protect the inner plant tissues. What's next? Choose the correct answer. The first one, type of movement and tendrils of P is sleeping movement, touch movement, pulling movement. Yeah, right, excellent, it's a pulling movement. The second one, depositing material and scalloping chemo cell is cellulose, lignin, or pores. Excellent, it's pores, the cellulose and lignin together. Who's next? Give a reason. It's the most, most, most important question in our exam. It's called physiological support Consider a temporary support. Yeah, because it depends on presence of water. If there is water, there is a physiological support. And if there's not, there's not physiological support. It's so important. And guys, in the end, there's some questions we can take a screenshot in this video from this and answer them. Answer them with yourself and good luck.